friends, how's it going? Today we're going to dive into a topic that I'm very, very passionate about. If you follow my channel or my blog for any length of time, you'll know I'm very passionate about this because I've written and filmed and talked about this topic a lot and for good reason. Today we're going to delve into the topic of going off grid, taking a break from all the things that connect us to actually and fully reconnect to ourselves and in the process, the world around us and our art. This is something I do on the regular. Um, like I said, if you follow my blog, you've seen me posting about, hey, I'm taking a break and going off grid, going off grid for a surf trip, going off grid for a hiking trip. What do, exactly do I even mean by off grid? And recently, one of my best friends post, actually left a comment on my YouTube video and asked like, hey, can you give me a few tips on how to go off grid? So shout out to you, Susan, you're amazing. And it made me really think about what it means to go off grid and just ponder it a little bit, appreciate it a little more, and I'm like, dang, I should really film a video about this and talk about it because it pertains to creativity a lot. It's very important for creatives, for entrepreneurs of any kind to really have some time and space to disconnect from social media and the internet and all, this, all these things that constantly are trying to grab our attention to take a break and just get back to the center. So when I go off grid, it's usually for some kind of a road trip or hiking trip especially going surfing has a soft spot in my heart. You've probably heard someone mention going off grid or living off grid before in that they are living without electricity, living somewhere in a house or in a cabin in the woods somewhere without electricity. This video is not going to be about how to live without electricity. So if you're looking for a video like that, this is not gonna be a video that's very interesting for you. But what I want to talk about is unplugging from the things that constantly demand our attention in our normal day-to-day -day lives. For most people, things like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, emails, if you, especially if you're an entrepreneur, emails, phone calls, all these things that sort of build our business and are very important, but also demand a ton of our time and our attention. I am of the belief that if we are constantly giving, constantly putting out there, constantly making content, we're not really taking time to fill our cup. If we're constantly pouring out, we need to make time to fill our cup, to fill ourselves, to give to ourselves and refill, recharge, rejuvenate. So how can we do that? we can take a break, we can step back. And that's not at all a weak or neglectful thing to do at all, especially if you're an entrepreneur or business person. This is actually something that's vital to your career, vital to your business and your personal growth, as well as the growth of whatever you're trying to build. If taking a break for yourself is actually going to benefit your audience in more ways than I can count. It's hard to give when you're constantly exhausted. So let's go through a few practical ways that you can plan your own off-grid retreat. And yes, you can do it this very weekend. You don't have to go anywhere if you don't want to. If you don't have an actual trip planned and you're like, hey, that's just out of the question for me right now to actually physically go somewhere, no worries, you do not need to. For me, going off-grid typically involves me taking a look at my phone and seeing which apps I'm constantly spending time checking or um, answering messages on, things that demand my attention. Something such as Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, maybe even your, in, your email inbox, and deleting these things. Make a list of the apps that demand your attention the most and delete them from your phone. Sometimes you can just hide the app instead of having to fully delete it. But to me, that's a little bit of a cheat. I like to fully delete the app so I'm not tempted in any way to check it. After you've deleted those things, come up with a plan for the next couple of days, maybe a weekend, maybe three days. I recommend picking at least a weekend, two days, where you can fully disconnect and recharge. So once you've deleted those apps, Think about what you would really like to do with your weekend, with that span of time you picked for yourself to unplug. What are some things that make you feel fulfilled and happy and when you do them, you feel like, dang, I could do this forever. Maybe it's writing, maybe it's um, creating music, mixing music, painting, 
dancing, photography, hiking, anything. It can be anything. Martial arts, boxing, working out. Find a few things, a combination of things that you're like, oh, I wish I had time to do that. Maybe it's even time to read a book you've been wanting to read. And then schedule out some time where, you know what, instead of doing all those things, instead of answering the emails and checking all the comments and keeping up with all of that, I'm going to set that aside and then use that block of time that I now have to do something that I know is going to be really fulfilling and good and healthy for me. It's going to help me fill my cup. And then in turn, when I actually do go back to the grid, go back online, go back to my business related stuff, I'm going to have so much more energy and um, thoughts and ideas to share with others that I'm just going to be so much more happy with what I'm creating rather than feeling drained and like I'm straining to even put one post out there. Now I will say I have done this for so long going off grid for about a month at a time, um, at least a couple of times a year that I 65 to 70% of the time do not know where my phone is. I do not have certain apps on my phone ever at any time. I use a lot of scheduler things and I look at social media as a very um, wonderful tool that I can use to connect and share with other people, but I do not spend a lot of time on these apps because I find them very draining. It can really contribute to a comparison game where you're constantly looking at other people's lives instead of living your own or seeing the beauty that's right in front of you. So I'm definitely more of the type who would rather be out in the woods hiking than spending time on social media and that's what I do almost 99% of the time. But there is nothing wrong with social media there. It can be a great tool to do a lot of good and put a lot of beauty out into the world. And I hope that is how you're using it. I encourage you to continue using it that way. And I think taking these breaks, taking hiatuses, taking um, a few days to go off grid can really empower you to use that tool in even better, brighter, more beautiful ways. So let's just review. Delete all the apps off your phone that are constantly demanding your attention. Sit down and start thinking about a few things that make you feel really fulfilled and that you really enjoy doing, things that you lose track of time when you do them. Three, take a few days to actually do those things. It can also help if you actually are going on a trip. So it can be nice to kind of pair it with if you're going somewhere for a few days, to kind of be like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna actually disconnect from my cell phone, the computer, the internet world, and I'm going to just fully focus on what's around me. And I think something really beautiful happens when you do that. You start to notice simple things like the people who are right in front of you the trees, the wind in the leaves, the birds, the pets that you might have, and just the little funny things they'll do. You'll have more time to just laugh and talk with friends without the interruption of messages coming through on your phone, kind of splitting your attention so you're neither here nor there. You're in this little in-between space where you're not fully present. And med things like meditation, yoga, other things that are about meditating on the now moment that are ancient and date back thousands of years. They have all kinds of good qualities and benefits because we are created to be centered, present beings. So things like disconnecting and being fully here are actually pretty tried and true. And things like constantly being on your phone, constantly having a screen, we don't even know, like scientists haven't even studied, it hasn't been around long enough for scientists to really study and see the full effects of what, is, what does it do to the human psyche to constantly be looking at someone else's lives, looking at someone else's life for so much of our, so much of the time. We're so consumed in other people's lives and what other people are doing that we're not really focusing on our own lives. We're not really fully absorbed in our own marks. We're looking at someone else's vacation instead of enjoying our own vacation. We're looking at what someone else ate for lunch and instead of enjoying each and every bite of what we're eating. So going off grid, I will stop rambling now, but going off grid is a great way to reconnect. It's a great way to recenter and I cannot recommend it enough. I really hope this video encouraged you a little bit to maybe take a break from the internet, to maybe make this the last YouTube video you watch for a couple days, and take a break, unplug, delete your apps, go have an adventure. Set the screen down, 
and get outside. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the little bell so you get notifications, and if you want to see exclusive content like videos, short stories, and an exclusive secret podcast that I produce every month, check out my Patreon page. There's a lot there. I'm really excited about that and how it's developing into a fun little community where we can all share and correspond. Check that out if you so desire. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful week of recharging and creating and just feeling stoked. I will see you in the next video, my friends. Stay stoked. <laughs>